In this video, we shall see the working of uh, common gate amplifier on both the theory as well as the LTSPI simulation. Now, this is uh, the common gate amplifier uh, circuit diagram. So, as you can see now, the input is applied to the source, uh, the gate is applied with the bias voltage VB, and output is taken at the source. Now, why it is called as common gate is uh, as you can see, the input is applied with respect to ground, the output is measured with respect to ground. So, gate looks like ground for the AC signal. Now, gate is the one which is common between both input as well as the output. So, that's why it is called as common gate configuration, which is exactly seen in your AC small signal circuit. So, here in this particular amplifier, we are assuming the lambda value to be zero. So, as you can see now, this gate is grounded for AC signal. The input is applied with respect to ground. The output V0 is measured with respect to ground. Now, since gate is grounded, we call this circuit as a common gate amplifier. Now, this is a small signal equivalent uh, circuit replacing the MOSFET by its uh, small signal model in saturation region. So, this is the VGS and we have a current source uh, GM into VGS and the resistor RD is connected uh, uh, from the drain and the ground. So, we know that uh, the V0 expression is given by I0 into RD that is drop across uh, this RD. So, I0 we know that it is minus of GM into VGS because it is in the opposite direction that of uh, assumed I0. Uh, but as we can see here, since this gate is grounded, so these two points are same now. So, since uh, VGS this is gate is positive, this uh, source is negative, but the input uh, V in uh, the source is connected with to plus and the negative is grounded. So, from this we can clearly make out that VGS is actually minus of V in. Now, since VGS uh, is minus of V in, substituting this VGS uh, as minus V in in the V0 expression, so we get the V0 as GM into RD multiplied by VM, V in. So, we'll see that uh, the gain of this amplifier, the CG amplifier is GM into RD, it is a gain. Now, uh, this clearly shows that it is actually uh, in phase with the uh, input signal. So, there is no negative sign meaning that there is no phase shift between the output and the input waveforms. The magnitude of the gain is GM into RD, the phase shift is 0 degrees. Uh, this is exactly uh, the magnitude of this CG amplifier is same as that of the CS amplifier. Only thing is that in the CS amplifier we had it as minus GM into RD. Now it is just GM into RD. Now we shall uh, consider a CG amplifier with a lambda value, so which is lambda non zero. So it is the same circuit. Now we have this AC small signal circuit. Now you can see gate is grounded, this VDD is grounded. We are taking the output at the drain point. Now see this is your uh, small signal model. So, when we consider this small signal model, uh, uh, one difference is that we are considering the R0 here and this V0 is applied. So, R0 is between the drain and the source and this is your RD connected from output to the ground. So, in order to obtain expression for uh, uh, AV, so let us uh, write the KCL at this node, at output node. So, we know that uh, we are assuming a current of I1, I2 which are entering this output node and this I0 is leaving the node. So, writing a KCL at output node. So, I1 plus I2 is nothing but I0. So, we know we have assumed this as the current I1 that happens to be uh, opposite to the current uh, source which is GM into VGS. That's why it is minus A, minus GM into VGS. Uh, but VGS is actually uh, minus a VIN. So, the I1 happens to be GM into VIN. So, similarly I2, it is uh, assumed to be flowing from the source to drain. So, uh, the I2 is now the voltage difference of uh, V in minus V0 divided by R0. So, that's what is written here. I2 is the current that is assumed from uh, source to drain. So, at source we have V in, at drain the output voltage assumed is V0. So, it is V in minus V0 by R0 is I2. Substituting that onto this KCL expression, we get uh, I0 which is nothing but uh, I1 plus I2. So, solving for this and uh, uh, substituting the expression for I0 uh, from this. So, where I0 is given by, sorry, uh, where the output voltage V0 is given by I0 into RD, substituting I0 uh, by this expression and simplifying this output voltage by input voltage can be written as GM into RD plus GM by RD. Sorry, this is GM into RD plus RD by R0 
in divided by 1 plus rd by r0 so no need to remember these equations now please try to analyze now you can see uh, you know this uh, just a minute you know this uh, circuit diagram so replace it by its small signal analysis small signal uh, model so you are replacing this by ground you are replacing uh, the vdd by ground and you replace the mosfet by its small signal model uh, you retain r not then you write the simple kcl expression get the expression for i1 i2s and then we have the v not by v in given by gmrd plus uh, rd divided by r not divided by 1 plus rd by r not so this is uh, a circuit where the apply in input is applied at the uh, gate terminal but uh, in actual case uh, this is the practical circuit what we'll be having so in this practical circuit we shall assume that the input is applied uh, to the source uh, through this coupling capacitor now this rs is provided to provide a path for your uh, the id to flow suppose if, if you connect the v in here and put a capacitor to block the dc you are blocking the id also so we are providing this rs to ensure that id flows through the circuit now this uh, that's what is rs is used to provide the path for your id so let us write its ac small signal model now we are grounding vdd we are grounding the v bias voltage that is done here and we are replacing the mosfet by its uh, small signal model so we are making a, a r signal that is uh, let us assume that this signal is having uh, zero signal resistance so that's why there is no rs considered here now this rs is the source resistance of uh, this mosfet now we are retaining the r naught of uh, this mosfet because we are assuming the value of lambda to be non zero now from this uh, we can actually see uh, this is exactly same as that of the previous circuit so except this rs is there so this rs is not making any uh, changes in the output expression because this input voltage is applied at the source terminal since this resistor is coming in parallel with this uh, voltage source this doesn't uh, change the voltage at this point so it is uh, the same expression as we saw in the previous uh, uh, circuit so it is the same expression for the gain it is j into rd plus of uh, rd by r naught divided by 1 plus rd by r naught so let us consider in the next case so we shall have some uh, r signal which is zero here we'll make it non-zero and try to analyze the uh, gain of the circuit now this is a circuit uh, what we consider now this is same as the previous case except that we have some uh, r signal which is a non-zero value here so once it is non-zero so let us write its uh, uh, small signal equivalent uh, over here i'm replacing this vb by the ground and uh, vdd by the ground so this is the ac small signal equivalent without replacing this capacitor sorry uh, this uh, transistor now you can see uh, this is the only change this capacitor is now replaced by the short circuit and r signal i am retaining it as it is now let's have a look at uh, uh, this point so when you are looking up towards the load when uh, when lambda is uh, non zero it's actually 1 over gm in parallel with r not since 1 over gm is very small compared to r not we are writing approximately equal to 1 over gm so this is uh, looking towards the source when you are looking uh, towards this rs now actually this rs and 1 over gm will come in parallel because this is 1 over gm towards the source and this is uh, towards the ground it is 1 over rs from this uh, x point so if if you look from here towards the right side so this rs is coming in parallel with uh, 1 over gm so that's what i have written so it is 1 over gm in parallel with rs if you consider this is v in and if you name this voltage as vx and you have a resistance rs in between r signal between this v in and vx we can actually get the expression for vx in terms of v in as so that's what is written here so this is vx the voltage at this point now this actually works like a potential divider so you have a r signal here this input impedance is uh, in total 1 over gm in parallel with rs so that's what we have here vx can be written as v in multiplied by 1 over gm parallel with rs so this is uh, the vx expression so this is uh, it's actually uh, the input voltage multiplied by the resistance of this uh, 1 over gm parallel with, with rs whole divided by the summation of these two resistances that is r signal plus 1 over gm in parallel with rs so we now get an expression between 
uh, vx and vin. So vx and vin can be written as so it is vx by vin is equal to 1 over gm parallel with rs divided by r signal plus uh, 1 over gm in parallel with rs. Now we know okay once we know the expression uh, the voltage here as vx. Now this is what I've written as vx. Now this equation uh, this entire circuit diagram can be written as this. So instead of v in, I have a vx. So if this is vx and if you want to find out what is v naught, this is exactly uh, same as in the previous case. In the previous circuit we had it as uh, v in. Now it is just vx. Suppose uh, what is the expression of your output voltage v naught by vx? So v naught by vx is given by exactly uh, gm into r d plus of r d by r naught divided by one plus r d by r naught which was exactly the same in, in the previous case. You can see now this was uh, your V in voltage which was applied here and which is exactly shown in the previous circuit also. Now this is instead of V in here we have a Vx. Now we know that uh, the same expression is valid. Only thing is that this V in is now replaced by Vx. So that's what is here. This V naught by Vx is given by the same expression. But actually what is the voltage gain? It is V0 by V in. So V0 by V in can be written as V0 by Vx multiplied by Vx by V in. So we know the expression for both of them. So V0 by Vx is given by this expression and Vx by V in is given by, of course, uh, putting this V in uh, in the denominator, we get the expression for Vx by V in as this. The multiplication of these two will going to give the voltage gain of this amplifier when this R signal is present. If R signal is zero, so this term is actually 1. So the term which is uh, there here, so this becomes 1 when this R signal is 0. Because when R signal becomes 0, so these two will get cancelled. You end up with the only this particular expression. Now we shall see uh, a practical circuit. So this is the practical circuit. Now this R1, R2 is uh, uh, really getting the voltage at this point which is Vx which will provide the required uh, gate voltage this is the rd here we take the output voltage this rs is the one which provides the path for your dc current this is the input voltage we'll assume some r signal so we initially start with zero and then uh, we, we just keep on increasing the value of r signal this is your coupling capacitor so let us uh, consider a cg amplifier with some specification with ideas 0.5 milliampere with kps 200 microampere per volt square with threshold voltage as 400 millivolt. Let us assume that overdrive voltage let it be 200 millivolt. So let us assume uh, lambda to be 0 0.01 volt inverse. So let us assume that uh, since we are, uh, let us assume that VDS to be around 0 0.8. Now we have, this is a 0 0.5 milliampere dropping here. So, so 0 0.5 milliampere is flowing. So 0 0.5 into uh, 1k happens to be 0.5 volt drop here, another 0.5 volt drop. So out of 1.8, if 1 volt is gone across uh, this and this, so remaining VDS will be 0.8. So that's how you get it as 0.8 here. How do we estimate the value of AV? So we can find the value of AV uh, in two different cases. Let us consider R signal to be 0 and R signal to be 1 kilo. So let us find out what is the voltage at this point that is VG, which is, not, which is given by the expression VDD multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. This is the expression for the voltage at this point, which is actually, uh, it is a voltage at uh, Vg with respect to ground, which is the sum of Vgs, that is, uh, this is actually Vgs between gate and source plus this uh, ID into Rs. So this is what is given here. This Vg is equal to Vgs plus ID into Rs. What is this Vgs? Vgs is VOV plus Vth. So that's what we have. So it is 0 0.6 and ID into RS happens to be 0 0.5 volt. So we want to have at the gate 1.1 volt. So to get 1.1 volt uh, from this expression VG is equal to uh, VDD into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. We'll assume the value of R1 to be 100K and uh, we found that the value of R2 comes out to be 157.1 kilo ohms. So using this R1, R2 will certainly get 1.1 volt. So this 1.1 volt will have a drop of 0.6 across VGS and uh, 0.5 volt here. So that will have a current of 1, sorry, 0.5 milliampere. We'll also see what is the W bell uh, to realize this much. Uh, we know this is the expression. We know everything except the W bell. So W bell can be found out. It is found out to be 100 and. 15.74. Uh, 
So let us see in the next video how do we simulate these.